Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore how to manage projects effectively using Microsoft Teams. Whether you're leading a small team or overseeing a large project, Teams provides a robust platform for collaboration, communication, and project management. During this webinar, we'll walk through the process of setting up a team, organizing channels, integrating tools, and ensuring effective communication. So let's get started. Here at AdvisorCon, we help organizations achieve greater impact by leveraging work management technologies to accomplish more with less. As work management consultants and technology specialists, our focus is on streamlining processes, improving systems, and achieving better outcomes. Today, we'll take a look at what Microsoft Teams is and its basic functionality. This will set the stage for using it to manage our projects. Then we will create a team and review the security features which can be applied. We'll explore the types of channels available and add some channels to the team that we can use to manage our projects. Finally, we will add a few apps to that channel to facilitate project management. First, a little bit about me. My name is Scott Allen. I am a Senior Project Portfolio Management Consultant here at AdvisorCon. My career in project management started back in the United States Navy and continued into my civilian career with managing many types of projects to include procurement, build-out, installation, and software development. I've used many different project management software tools and have implemented many uh, on-premise instances of Microsoft Project Server as well as Project Online. So Edmund Burke an Irish statesman in the late 1700s stated, good order is the foundation of all things. While he was talking about the functionality of government, his statement is equally true of project management. Having documentation, plans, and other project information in multiple places and disconnected systems will lead to confusion, misplaced information, and inaccurate reporting. Luckily, Microsoft Teams is designed to keep all that information in one place. So Microsoft Teams is a collaboration and communication platform, and it's part of the M365 suite. It's widely used in business, educational institutions, and other organizations to facilitate communication and collaboration. Its features include chat and messaging, the ability to make video and audio calls with screen sharing, creating teams and channels for organization, uh, the ability to share and store files, as well as integrate multiple applications into those teams and channels, and it provides for various security levels. In today's webinar, we'll be focusing on setting up our team channels uh, while looking at security for those channels. Teams within Microsoft Teams are essential for organizing, collaboration, and communication. They'll, they allow groups, whether for projects, departments, or specific interests, to have dedicated spaces where members can chat, share files, and work together seamlessly. Uh, this structure helps streamline workflows, improve communication, and enhance productivity by keeping everything related to a specific topic or project in one place. So let's take a break from slides and let's build a team. So here we have Microsoft Teams. And within Microsoft Teams, if I want to create a team, I would simply hit the plus button here in the left-hand side column and create a team. Now, how I like to set up my teams is for different customers or different organizations, I will have a team for each one of those organizations. And within that team, I will have a channel for each one of the projects that I wish to create for that team. Your organization can set it up in whatever way you desire, but that is the way I normally do it. So here I'm going to create a new team. And here in the same plus is where I create teams and channels, but I want to create a new team because I have a new organization that I am supporting. This organization will be the XYZ Corporation. And I can put a description for the XYZ Corporation, and they make things. Now, if you spell it, if you spell something incorrectly, um, you will still get the red line underneath. Apparently, things is a real word, but if it wasn't, there we go. T-H-N-G-S, that's not a real word. You can still right, do the right click and have the things pop up and you'll still have spell check. Now here under teams and sensitivity, 
I have the option of changing the type of team it is and the sensitivity level. I'm going to select that button. And here under sensitivity label, the sensitivity labels need to be created on the team's back end by a team's administrator. This is the one that we have as a sensitivity level within our organization, and this is not going to be a project that falls under the human resources confidential sensitivity label. So I'm going to leave it blank. Now under privacy, I can make this a private team, so people will need permission to join my, this team, or I can make it a public team. Anyone in my organization can join this team. I'm going to make this a public team because I want other project managers or other people within my organization to see this team. So I will select public. Now I can put a, you have my description, you have my sensitivity label and my team type. Now I select create. Once the team is done creating, I will get a, you've done a nice work application. And now my team is created. If I come here and select teams, down at the bottom, I have my XYZ Corp team. In here in the teams, in the team, I will have posts, files, and notes by default. This is where I could post things about XYZ Corporation in general, or I post files about XYZ Corporation in general, or make notes about this corporation in general. I can also add applications using the plus symbol, but I am going to reserve that for when I create my channels. Also here on the XYZ Corporation, if I hit these three dots, I can add members to my team. I can add members to my team simply by typing their name. So I know David is going to be on my team for this particular project or in this particular team, he's going to be working with me on all the projects. I know that Shams is going to be working with me on all my projects, and I know that Tim is going to be working with me on all my projects. So I have added them to my team. Also notice I had selected the notes tab in my XYZ general, and you see a OneNote page has opened, so you can do whatever OneNote things you want to do. But I'm not really going to be too concerned about that. I want to add channels for my project. So now I'm going to hit the plus button up here again, and now I'm going to create a channel. First thing to do is select the team for the channel, and my team was at well, my team is the XYZ Corporation. And now I have options of creating item, creating channels in the XYZ Corporation. Now this channel name will be Project 1 because this is the first project I will be doing for XYZ Corporation. And this will be help them with things as a description. Now I get to select my channel type, much like I did for my team. I now have three options. I have the standard option where everyone in the team has access to what's going on within, the within this channel. Then I have shared. People or teams in my organization or outside my organization can have access if they are invited to the channel. And private where I would only make this for specific people on the team. So for instance, if I did not want Tim to be involved with this channel, then I would, then I would exclude Tim from the specific people list. But I'm going to make this a standard channel for everybody. Click on standard and select create. Now you can see once this is done being built, I now have my project one channel. If I were doing multiple projects, I would create another channel and I would call this one back on the XYZ Corp. I would call this one project two. And channel type, I'll make that standard as well and create. So now you see I have the project one channel. I have a general channel for all of XYZ Corporation. I have a project one channel and a project two channel. Now, Project 1 has my posts, files, and notes. Project 2 has posts and files. I don't know where notes went, but now I also have the ability to manage this channel. I can change names. I can add uh, different things to the channel just by managing and selecting that button.
But now I want to use champ project one. I want to create my project schedule. How do I want to do that? Well, it depends on the type of project. Is the project going to be a very simple step one, step two, step three project? If it is, I can select the plus, and this plus symbol here is how I would add a tab to this channel for project one. I want to add a tab that is a very simple project, so I'm going to use Planner. I could use Lists, I could use Microsoft Project, but instead I'm going to use Planner. I select this, and now I have to name my tab, and it will be Planner for, I'll just call it the Project One Project. I'm a project manager. I am not creative when it comes to names, and I will click Save. And as I click Save, now I have a Project One Microsoft Planner planner board. I can add tasks into to do. I can add bucket names for various items that I want. Let's say for this is to do. This is in progress. I can add another bucket for on hold and maybe another bucket for complete. So now I have a Kanban board that shows to do in progress on hold or complete. I could add a task to this project, uh, to this to-do site, and it will be start project. And I am going to assign, remember all of those people that I added to my channel back here under XYZ Corporation, all of these people now have access to the Project One channel. And I'm going to assign this to David Oswald. And now that he is assigned, I need to set a due date for it, and that due date will be, let's say, Thursday, and select Add the Task. So now I have this task for David Oswald to start the project. Then, what? then I can move it to In Progress or On Hold or whatever as the task goes. There is also a grid that I can add, that I can add those to. I don't have to add it specifically to the Kanban board. And I also can have a schedule or a calendar view for that project. And there are other reporting charts that are inherent within Planner. But let's say Project 2 is a little more complex. So I am going to add the Project tab. Here I would name another project and click Save. So Microsoft Project within Teams adds more complexity to the project. We still get the board timeline people, but here we get goals and we can set goals for our project. And we have other assignments that we can add within the project. So depending on how in-depth you want to get with your project schedule or with your scheduling would be how which application you would choose. But if you noticed, I am not limited to Microsoft, pro Microsoft products within Teams. Here I have a project plan application. Uh, there is also Monday.com can be added to a Teams channel. Uh, we can also add Reich. If we want to add Reich, depending on what you want to add to your Teams channel, you can add other applications here. So your organization, regardless of what application you use to manage projects, can still be funneled through Teams and everybody can have access through one portal. So that is adding projects, that is adding tabs, that is adding channels, and that is also adding applications to our team so we can manage our project. To wrap this up, key things to remember. Teams is a powerful tool that provides a means of communication, organization, and collaboration across the entire team. Remember, we can add any application for project management by selecting Add a tab and looking for that application to, to put into Teams. Teams gives us the option to create teams and channels and with various levels of security where everyone in the team or just a select group will have access. So other applications, like I said before, can be, can be added and this will help your team stay organized. So thanks for joining me today.
If you have any other questions or you need further clarification, please don't hesitate to reach out. Your engagement is very valuable to us. For additional learning resources, explore our online academy. We offer a variety of free trainings to enhance your skills. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.